started. I had a quick video on exposure time. Um, so over here on the left side of the menu bar, you'll see that there is this control under exposure and gain. Just open it up by clicking on the bar and you'll see this exposure time here. Now, the, the longer I'm dragging it out here and I'm increasing exposure time to, you know, 390 milliseconds. As, as I do it, you can see the picture is getting brighter and brighter. And it's because the, obviously the frame rate uh, or rather the amount of time the frame is staying open to accept light is increasing. Um, I generally keep it in the 100 range, which is um, pretty good for the lighting that I got around my desk, but I want it to be a slow enough capture so that when I rotate the, the, when I rotate the um, platter, you can see the stylus Sorry, you can, yes, you can see it all moving. And when I capture the image, you can see the blur. You see the blur? That's how I know that easily by looking at it, that I'm looking at a dynamic, dynam dynamically taken image rather than a static one. Um, keep an eye out for white flashing along the bottom here. If this white flash gets too hot, that's overexposure and it will make it more difficult to draw a line on there. And then when you do draw your lines, of course, up here, go to your four point, choose the four point, drop, drop the line, and you can just do it roughly at this point, drop it. And now, I, this is when I, 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 oh, first of all, you have to change to the handler up here. You see this arrow up here. And then now I like to zoom in, and you can do that either by changing the percentage up on the menu bar or hold the control button and use the the mouse roller in the center and i like to go in nice and tight get it in the frame and now i can align these uh alignment marks and i like to when i align keep some margin of the cantilever on the measured side of of the measurement line I want to see some margin. I don't want to completely cover it up with my measurement line because then it'll be a little, diff little difficult to make sure that I'm staying right on top of it. And do the same down here. Again, I leave a little bit of a margin. And that's a good line. Here's my reading right there. Now I can zoom out. And if ever you want to take an image save an image then of this with your measurement lines in it, press the F2 button and this export option comes in and then press OK and it'll create this image for you with the measurement number right there. And then up here at the top, I like to save everything. I hit batch save and then I put the directory I want to save it at, give it a name and it'll save all of the tabs we've got open here, all of them.